Nate here from Thrift Dweller. It's late, I just got off work, but today, exciting video, before this cold totally takes me over, I'm gonna shoot an unbox review video. The reason I'm unboxing this now is because I got a notification on my email from WADA Games that they're sending me back a few of the games I sent back in like September, thank god finally. So in anticipation for that shipment, I have something here that I've been waiting to unbox for quite a while now. And before this cold totally takes me over, I'm gonna unbox it today on the channel. Exciting times. I'm only gonna have to... Hold on, let's get it. Woo! Oh yeah, buddy. This thing is so big. Look at this. Sweet! You can see what it is already for you statue fans out there. I think that this item is way too big to open in this room, so we're probably going to pop over to my kids' uh, play area and unbox it there. Look, I'm Team G Sales, only better. Let's do it Red Dwarf style. Shit, my game trip. So when you order a statue from First Four Figures, they come in a shipper box. This is right here in the box, Shovel Knight exclusive, one piece. I really should go over the story of how I got this actually. First Four Figures offered the special dual pack where they had the standard edition color of uh, Shovel Knight and they had the ornate plate version. And if you bought both of them, they were cheaper, so Ian and I halved it. And to decide who would get which one, we flipped the coin, but Ian had to go roll a d20 because he's a geek like that and I love him so much. And uh... Yeah, I ended up with the standard edition, I think. Can't remember now which one I came up with. But, uh, yeah. Ian already opened these up in quality control. Check them. So you got the shipper box. Oh, I guess they have another box inside. And I guess this, <laughs> this, this is what protects the, the art box, I guess. I've never done one of these this big an unboxing before. Whoa. Woo! This is a, uh, I'll show close up of the sticker later. It's a holographic uh, day one sticker. That's cool. Out of this one here, I want Cowboy Bebop and Psycho Mantis. And the money shot. Oh my god. Some real suction happening here. This is why I need Ian here to help me. Woo! Shovel Knight exclusive edition. Okay, I got the standard color. Nice. I think this is the exclusive edition because it has an interchangeable head. I'll give you a 360 of the box here. I'll do the Shardimus pause on the back here so you can read it if you like. This is number 84 out of 250 total pieces produced. Wow, that's a pretty low number actually. Is that, is that good or bad? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, but overall just a very beautiful box. Overexposing this camera. I don't think it matters about the code, but it's probably too far to see anyways. You get the, the authentication card here, and it says Shovel Knight. We'll keep that. On. I'll keep it there so I don't lose it actually. Make sure you look to see. This side is up. Oh, yeah. Let's do a little ASMR. And we will now open the box. Oh, listen to the phone. Now I know I have nothing to worry about because Ian did the quality control check. It's under his account, but if there was any issues, he would have uh, he would have had to return it. But he assured me that this is good, good, good stuff. Anywho, ta-da! I guess the first thing we shall pull out is the base. 
Nice. Look at that. Look at the detail on that base. Huh? Huh? Grass so good you could eat it. Number 84 at the bottom there. I really should read the instruction manuals of Shardimus Prime. Always recommends, but I never listen because I'm a rebel. Aerial rebel. Pull out his torso here. Ooh, got some nice weight to it. Very nice. Like I was saying, you got the pitting in the armor. You got the, I don't know if that's supposed to be chainmail or what, but really nice texture in the hands, the arms, and the upper thighs there. Really well done on that shovel. Wow. This is a premium statue, so you expect to see these premium details on this. And First Four Figures has not disappointed us yet. So far, they're not disappointing me. It looks like it's just a single peg here that goes on the base. <laughs> I'm very giddy, actually. I'm very happy. All right, let's pull out the standard head first. Yeah, very nice. Uh, these, these are magnetic locking here. So, that's a really nice magnet actually. There you go. So this is the standard version. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Overall, I think it's really, oh, really exquisite piece here. It better be for meaning. I actually got a really good deal on this. Statues from first four figures now I think have gone up a little bit. I don't follow it as in-depthly as Ian does. Overall, I think the execution on this piece with the standard head is very nice. Very good detail craftsmanship. I don't see any errors in manufacturing here. No oversprays. Very clean work. Very clean work. Very well done. So much detail in the statue. You see like in the helmet here. All the pitting and the wear of the helmet. You got uh, bone. It looks like very nice uh, detailing work in the armor. The textures. I love the textures. Overall I think this was a good value for what we paid. So the fish head comes in it looks like four pieces in addition to the head. <laughs> this actually looks really nice. You can see some texturing on the head. Real th something I noticed real quick, I think it lost me a little bit in the eyes. Um, could have been more glossier maybe. Just an initial critique here. Let's put all his antennae in. Okay. These are the pieces that you really are afraid of. Like breaking and stuff. Because they're so fragile. Nice. I'm going to put all these in and I'm going to take a look. So these little tentacle thingies are actually magnetic as well, it feels like. Yeah, they're magnetic. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Overall, the fish head, it's not bad. I think I prefer the helmet better, this one. I don't know. I felt like they could have went a little bit extra on the texturing of this head. Looks a little dry for a fish, if you know what I mean. But I mean, that's just being nitpicky. I love the texturing of it. Uh, the paint application is pretty spot on. No quandaries there. Kind of feels like the fish head almost falls a little flat for me. I don't know if I'm being too picky there. But overall, let me know what you think in the comments below. Here's a comparison of the two. Overall, this is a very pleasurable experience opening this up for you guys. Finally, this has been in my game room for like ever, forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever. So overall, initial thoughts, I think it's a really nice statue. Very good quality, good craftsmanship. I mean, it is a premium piece, so you do expect that kind of thing, but uh, it didn't fail me. All I had really had to criticize was some nitpicks here about the fish head, which you heard already. But let me know in the comments below which one would you display. Uh, this with I will do a follow-up to this video once the water game the game from water arrives that I can pair it with uh, This statue and I'll show you exactly where I put it in the game room and I think that would signal like Officially doing a room tour or just kind of like the setup for 2020 this table so creaky And that's it for me Nate. Thank you very much for checking out the channel Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed today's content uh, check out the channel for more videos. Peace Take care of yourselves and each other.